All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel again. This is Diego Take Your Life, and today we're going to be looking at this BMW 535i uh, with the N55 engine. We're going to be changing out this headlight here. Well, actually, we're not going to be changing out. I'm, I'm going to inspect it here, but we're going to be exploring on how to remove this and kind of uh, if you have any issues on changing out the headlight, whatever, I'd recommend you watching this video. So stick around. All right, so first things first, um, I have a little bit removed already, but I'm gonna go over on what I did. Uh, so let's put this back here. This goes belongs here. Okay. So this uh, this little thing just kind of slips off here. We're gonna pull it off, bop, bop, bop. Easy, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Let's move that out of the way. We have some, uh, let's see if they're T's. Where are these T's? I think they're T30s. If not, they're T27s. Yeah, these are T30s. So we got some T30 torque screws. Um, so all along here. So I just went ahead and removed that. And this thing was actually under. So pop it out. And now it's able to be free. So, excuse me. We have uh, a few little clips here that I use with the little clip puller. Very easy. Just slide it in here. Pops up. Not all the way up. But let's go ahead and go with it over here. Sorry. So this one up like this Jesus. there we go might not be all the way up here well it comes up here there it goes so be careful don't let it go flying everywhere so we have a few here we got one uh, i know we had two over here three four five uh six seven eight nine and 10 right here oh 11 so go ahead and remove those and then uh we'll go from there all right so once we got that removed went ahead and just pulled it out we'll just to the side here we're gonna need uh let's see here there's one t30 here one t30 here and i want to say there's a couple of them in the back but let's go ahead and remove these and uh let's see this is a t30 here so let's unscrew this and then this one, let's see what this is here. Uh, that one's not a T30. That one seems like a, maybe a T27 here. Let's see if I can get a T27. No, uh, it is a T30. Yeah, it's a T30. Oh, wait, that's a... Hold on, I just got confused here. <laughs> okay, that was a T30 here, so... Loosen this out here. Just gonna loosen for now. Um, once you got the bottom part, we'll go ahead and uh, adjust from there. Next thing you wanna do here is, let's get a eight millimeter. Move the tire to the right so we can get more access. We're gonna loosen this up real quick. I'm gonna loosen the bottom one and I'll probably remove this one here. Pretty simple. We should have three bolts here. And then what I'll do is move this to the side a bit here. And I believe I'll have to inspect this here and then I'll let y'all know what I need. All right, so you're gonna need a T30 as well with an extension and a pivoting head here. And we're gonna go in here. And if you see here, at the very top right there, uh, pretty much right there where my finger's at, there's a T30 right there that we're gonna remove. And see right, right there. I think that's it. So we're gonna remove that and hopefully it comes out. So stand by. All right, so one thing I did feel to mention is, so once I was removing these screws off, um, it still wasn't moving, still kind of intact. So I went ahead and just uh, removed these bolts right here at the top, uh, that whole disc part right here. So there you go. There's two eight millimeters there. Um, so 
once you get that removed, you can now do this here. So it gives you some uh, some uh, leverage there to to mess with the headlight now. So we're just gonna verify that everything's good here. Hopefully, the headlight should come up should come up somewhat loose here. Let's see here. So as you can see, we have a loose headlight. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pry it out here. Let's see if we can get this going here. Out a bit here. Be careful with the if you have cameras. I got a camera here. I feel like there's one more bolt holding it, so I'm gonna go ahead and check if there's another bolt here. Okay, there's another bolt, and this is gonna be towards the bottom here. So a little hard to see here. Um, yeah, it's a little hard to see. There's one in the bottom towards kind of where my finger's at right here. There's a T T30 as well. I'm gonna try to remove it. And by the way, I put some tape here just so it doesn't scratch up this portion. So be careful with this. I wish I would have told y'all sooner. All right, this was a hard one. Um, there's one more bolt T30 as well. This one was a pain in the butt. Let's see if I can get you here. Way in the back, way in the back, way over there. So the only way I was able to see was by shining that light through here, through here, and I could see the boat here. So that took me about an hour to remove or so, and should be ready to go now. Um, I don't think you have to remove the one in the front, so we'll see here. Oh yeah, it's starting to slide now. That's good. Let's see if we can remove it without moving the bumper here. This camera, though, let's see here. Oh, it looks like we might have to put this last one here. Might have to remove this bottom one over here, just kind of. Give us some more play back here. Should be size eight millimeter as well. Screw. Yeah. We'll remove the second one. We'll remove two of them here. This plug right here. Oh, this is inspect what, what just happened here. A lot of noise going on. So, this was the hardest one here. That one was the one that's kicking my butt. 
Um, as far as this bolt right here, we don't have to remove this bolt, so I'm just gonna end up putting that one back. I don't think we need to remove that bolt because that bolt belongs to, yeah, we didn't need that bolt. So we can just put that bolt back now. That was this one right here. So, in total, you have four bolts. Um, come on, get in there. There we go. I'll tighten it up later. So, in total, you have four bolts. You have one, two, three, four uh, that secure that housing. And then, like I said, you just need to pinch it here. You can pinch it. And that's it. So, woo! Um, I mean, can you do it without removing the bumper? Yeah, you can. Um, I think the easiest trick that I got was I ended up putting the tire outside. If possible, remove the tire would be so much easier. Um, but, I mean, I did it without removing the bumper. Only two screws in the bottom here. We had three screws in the side. Two of them to hold this. And then all this right here. So, yeah guys, I'm not going to show you how to put it back together because it's going to be a pain in the butt again. But till then, thanks for watching guys, thanks for, thanks for uh, subscribing and all the channels and all that, all that. man I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, see y'all later.